Alrighty now, folks. Uh, some dude on the internet was make decided he wanted to make a replacement chest for RC, and they just needed people to buy batches of them, batches of twenty, because of shipping overseas and whatnot. And what's under here? Did I see something under here? No. Sony from TM Reviews decided that he was gonna buy a batch and this is what I got. Now the chest is meant to make it look more cartoon accurate and less like coming halfway down and then jutting out. Let's see. Yeah, the, the chest is bigger and goes up higher. Let's see if what it would look like right here. Oh, hmm. There appears to be a minor. Now that's staying already. That's pretty much how this stays. Hey, there is a little bit of a gap. So, I guess I'll probably have to worry about that. But here's the tough part. And Sony broke his. Getting this pen out of here. <clears throat> I don't even know how. I'm gonna do this or if I can even film it so basically what I'm gonna try to do is heat this up heat this plastic up and then get something small enough to push on that pin and push it out which may require a hammer the last time I did this it was on a way cheaper figure and the pin was in an easier place like easier place to grab a hold of for me to actually push that pin through so yikes, wish me luck. Okay, here we are. It took a ton of freaking effort. The dude that this chest came from is called Hafizul. I'll put a link to his how to take the chest off and put the new one on video. Uh, I had to put a lot more effort into hammering the pin out than he did, but here is the end result. But here's the more to this story. Sony from TM Reviews, he he paid the guy the money it cost to get 20 of these shipped and he got 20 other people to, to pay for it before he got it shipped. And he wound up refunding everybody because it broke on him. And yeah, that's what happened to me. I went through all that trouble of replacing this and getting it on and I lifted it up. And I, when I went to collapse the neck part down in there to get everything right like you have to do with the collar and I went to push this down I was like grabbing right here it just snapped right off <laughs> it's it's made out of resin instead of like a better type material and here's the real I guess real problem this bulge right here probably should have been smoother that was keeping it up if that was smoother, it would have been able to just move right down. But that bulge gave me resistance. And now what's holding this together is the two pegs right there. And I did put Gorilla Glue on it. I am... Mm, let's see what type of articulation. Now you see what the chest looks like. That's the main thing. I have to admit, this looks significantly better. I... In hand, I didn't have too much of a problem with this, besides the fact that it made the collar way longer than it should be. And in fact, even steel, this should probably less, that gives you a lot more height and it covers up her shoulder joints, which is definitely better. I don't know why Takara told me didn't go with that and why they just straight went with the shoulder joints completely showing. That was a weird choice. Well, let's see what kind of articulation. See, yeah, because you, you still have access. Like I said in my review, they did that to give you complete access to the butterfly joints, but you still have access to the butterfly motion right here. If this breaks off while I'm doing it, so be it, but it's not breaking off so far. To let you see that even with this new chest, she's still able to use her excellent awesome butterfly joints that they've been given these newer masterpiece figures that people sleep on and you even still have this right here the new star screen can do all this the new optimus the new freaking sun streaker 
I don't think, I'm not sure if MP36 Megatron could do this, but yeah, even with this new chest, she's still able to use that. So I don't know why it's a cartoon. We didn't just go with this type of chest because it does look better. I'm going to have a link to my full review if you forgot what she looks like with the old chest. Maybe I'll have a picture right here on the side. New chest, old chest. But yeah, that does look better. Uh, I was going to show it off in car mode, but yeah, if I have a feeling it's going to probably just break as soon as, I, as soon as I try to move this out of there. I don't know. In fact... Let me stop wearing it and, and unplug it right now. I'm getting that out. I popped their head off to mess around with things. So I probably didn't push that on all the way. Well, yeah, part of the transformation is you need to shove this forward. So I don't know unless I learn how to freaking paint how I can shave that down and get it up. But with somebody selling you a product, they should have worked all these kinks out ahead of time. I don't know if he just didn't ever break any of his, but yeah, that is definitely sticking out too far right here and should have been sanded down a bit. All right, in the spirit of making this a full complete video, this is what it would potentially look like there we go when you transform it there is a tiny bit of a ridge right there like in person it doesn't look too crazy but on this video yeah there's a dark gap right there it doesn't come together as completely smooth as this and that's probably one of the other reasons why they did this but they could have always just shaped this differently i mean come on so trying to give to cards on your best but, <laughs> but there are the ways around things i mean it it comes together there you are but anyhow uh with this being made out of the material that it's made out of and i don't know if you can still possibly get this i don't know how much i can suggest it well Things are still in the state that they are with that ridge still being like that. Like, I, in the spirit of making this a complete video, I moved it up a bit, but I don't know what's going to happen when I try to move it back down. Let me attempt that right now on camera. Ooh, being super careful right there. That's how I bend neck joints when I first open them. I go. When I get a NECA figure, I go directly to the joint and I bend super carefully instead of getting that blow dryer every time. And also on his instructions, he didn't do that. I still heated up this area just in case that might help. I don't know if it did help, but I did it. But anyhow, thank you, Sony, for this free chest right here. I mean, it, it's still functional. It's just scary, scary, scary now that I put that Gorilla Glue on there. But, thank you. Buy it at your own risk if you know how, if you, I'm pretty sure you probably have some type of contact information in the video. Maybe, possibly. Thank you for watching this. Until next time, T-Man 978, out of here. Figure action. That one's me. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos.